Hi everyone, this is Parrish. Once again, I have to apologize for not uh, doing any f uh, current webcasts uh, due to my schedule and, you know, of course, the, Bra the Brazil, Brazil project is still ongoing. However, there's, there have been some situations beyond our control and so we had to put that project, you know, postpone it hopefully until September, which is great because that will be the uh, anniversary of our first um, trip up there. Uh, just to give you an update what has happened in the last couple of months, um, in early April, there was an outbreak of dengue fever, and uh, there were uh, many, many thousands, over 40,000 plus people were affected in Rio, and then in Salvador, where we are really focusing our mission, there were also thousands uh, of people affected with it as well. And there was no cure, but they do have uh, treatment, you know, so a lot of the people were on, on the quarantine and uh, the, the facilities that we were going to visit, they were, uh, they had contract disease, as, uh, the sickness as well, which is, uh, the dengue fever is similar to what most of us know as malaria. However, like I said, there's no cure for it. So since there was no cure, all they can do is give them medicine, you know, to, to, to treat, to, um, as an antibiotic as well as um, in, in severe cases, if they were dehydrated, they, then they had to go to the clinic or hospital for uh, IV uh, uh, for to be administered you know, by uh, IV treatments. So um, now the contacts have told me that you know, it's pretty much over and uh, we're ready to go forward with the, um, the second phase of, of the, the mission. Uh, one group that we uh, plan on vis visiting is a, a home for young men, uh, young teenagers who um, also have been are in treatment for drug uh, drug treatment, and so we want to uh, work with them. You know, um, try to uh, update their uh, uh, school supplies, furnish uh, furnishing with you know proper. Um, personal hygiene, utensils, and, and things of that nature. So we're looking forward to um, uh, pushing forward with the project, and uh, I hope that um, uh, you continue to pray, and any financial support that you can send our way, we would definitely appreciate it. And trust me, it will be going to the use that is uh, collected for. On another note, another reason I would like to take time to address you is um, with this election coming up uh, in November. Um, I'm not going to really dwell on who's, whether Obama or McCain, you know, would be the, the president of, of, of our choice. The key is the president of God's choice. And um, the world is, 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 as many you know, every time you turn on the t TV or even log on the internet or read your newspaper, there's always something going on that, that the Bible speaks of. Rumors of wars. Now, most of the wars are no longer rumors. They're actually wars. Uh, uh, earthquakes in diverse places. You know, these things are going on, you know. And then you have to look at the state of the world, you know, where they're, you know, where they're spiritually with the Lord, you know. Uh, uh, um, people have, all over the world, you know, have forgotten about you know, God's basic commandments. And, uh, and and the greatest commandment is to love thy neighbor as thyself. So if you love your neighbor, you know, there's no reason to steal, kill, uh, uh, lie about uh, one of your, 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 your co-workers, uh, or neighbor, or what have you, you know. It's that brotherly love that we need to get back to. And as far as the United States, is concerned, we have to really um, uh, pray and ask God for guidance when we when we uh, elect our presidents. You know, uh, you, you look at in California. You know, California has approved uh, gay marriages, and and you know the Bible definitely speaks against that. Um, uh, 
and, and you know, we're, we're accountable. You know, when we cast our votes, we're accountable for the people we put in those offices. It says wickedness of high places, you know, yes, but it starts low, you know. So if it starts low and then it goes high, and once they get high, they, they got the power of the pen that um, uh, write these laws. And once they write them, they, and then they get approved through Congress, then they institute it into our uh, uh, state agencies, and then, you know, that's how we, we, we have to yield to them. You know, and, and, and Massachusetts is another state that that has approved gay marriages, and you know, and, and we are, you know, I don't want to, I'm, I'm trying not to make this a Bible talk, but I just want to take some time to speak to everyone, and uh, it's something that I, I've been negligent of doing, you know, I haven't um, done a, a, a webcast in a while, and you know, and, and the Lord spoke to me today and said, you need, you need to talk to the people today. So, while I have a little uh, free time at my home, you know, under my favorite tree and drinking my f favorite iced tea drink. Delicious. I need to take time to, uh, to, to speak with my brothers and sisters in, in the Lord. And um, so, I mean, we had a crucial time in, you know, in, in not, like I said, in this country but in this world you know that you know we are accountable for the decisions that we make you know and um, just keep that in mind and, and, and continue to do you know to do good you know do bless somebody else I've said it you know early part of the year this is the year of the Saints you know the Saints to prosper and and uh, all that they they ask for you know uh, but the key is working diligently in order to, to, to reap, that, reap those benefits, you know. If you just sit at home on the couch watching TV or, you know, on the Internet, and, and you know, th I mean, that's, it's not going to happen, you know. We got to go outside them doors, you know, uh, spread some, some brotherly love uh, to the, from the homeless individual to, to the President of, of the United States. So, um, you know, it, it spreads abroad, you know, it, it just doesn't stop, you know, at a 1113 Niagara, where I stay. It goes abroad to wherever I go, you know, I have to, uh, you know, share the, the, the love of God with, with everyone, regardless whether I know them or not. So that's why I'm taking this time today to, to, to speak to you, and uh, like I said, I, I apologize for taking so long to, uh, to present to do a webcast, um, you know, I, even though my schedule is busy, um, um, like even, even though school is out right now, I'm, I'm currently working at the George Foreman Youth Center, um, working with about 25 young people between the ages of 8 to 16, uh, we're working with, you know, teaching them the basis of multimedia, you know, which is one of the, the projects that we're trying to get set up in Brazil as well. So uh, it's not that I'm not doing anything, you know, it's just that, you know, I've been, you know, I'm working in several directions. Um, I also wanted to, uh, you know, thank, you know, everybody that's, you know, been supported up to this time. Uh, you know, uh, if there's anything that we can do for you, uh, email me, uh, send me a message on the blog, uh, or, you know, give me a call. You know, everything is listed on the website, how to reach me. And, uh, you know, I will respond, you know, in a timely manner. So, basically, that's what I want to say to you today. And uh, hope that you, the rest of the summer you stay cool and find you a, a nice shade tree to, to just relax. Uh, spend time reading read uh, a good book, hopefully, the Bible, uh, which is the reason I came out here today, you know, to read the Bible and... Then I, the Lord said, you know, you need to, you know, talk to the people today. So I got the equipment out and, and decided to just, you know, not share, you know, uh, from the heart today. You know, it's not really, you know, about, I mean, I didn't come out here to preach a sermon. I just wanted to share with you all today. And uh, looking forward to you, uh, to, to uh, share with you again in the near future. I'm going uh, to try to, you know, be... Uh, consistent uh, according to my schedule but uh, 
uh, you know, just keep in mind, you know, and that I'm not, I'm not giving up the fight, you know, I, you know, I'm continuing to, to work uh, hard to, 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 to uh, do the work of the Lord as well. And um, that's, that's basically it for today, and I hope that you have a blessed summer, and uh, I pray for all the kids that are having fun in the swim pool, swimming pool or on the beaches, and uh, just be safe and, and take the Lord with you. And uh, we, I look forward to seeing you all in August in, in, in the classroom. So until uh, next time, take one day and one victory at a time.